Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight, the Monday Morning Pulse Report for seafood purchasers. Some quick and interesting news out of North America. Sockeye salmon prices are softening a bit, mostly due to downward pressure on it from Atlantics that is transferring over. The squid catches are increasing in California as we come into the peak season. Regardless, prices are high and are expected to rem remain that way. We've been noticing that the global economy is impacting premium on MSC certified products. Buyers aren't quite as willing to fork over extra money for the eco label. In the news this week, you've probably heard about the wild BC sockeye salmon that tested positive for infectious salmon anemia last week. The infection was diagnosed by a doctor at the Atlantic Veterinary College in Prince Edward Island who received the sample from a fishery statistician at Simon Fraser University. Information that, that, that hasn't been highlighted in the press is the fact that the samples tested were actually juvenile smolt sockeye, not adult specimen. Moreover, the SFU statistician claims that the virus must have come from BC farm salmon, but there's been no testing on the farm species to back this up. Finally, the virus has not even been isolated, nor has the Canadian Food and Safety in Institute confirmed it as positive. It is also important to note that while the virus is highly contagious and lethal to Atlantic salmon, as demonstrated by the devastation of Chilean salmon farms in 2007, its effect on wild Pacific salmon remains unknown. The CFIA is currently reviewing the validity of the claims made by Simon Fraser University. We will be providing updates as they come in, so follow us on Twitter to remain in the loop. Next up, we receive reports from two of our packers that 70% of tilapia raised in the Maoming area of China died of streptococcus disease. As a result, packers are asking customers to pay 17% more for product that was already purchased on contract deals or face the implications of not having orders filled. Other regions have also experienced difficulty farming tilapia this year due to severe weather conditions. Essentially, it has resulted in a supply shortage and rising prices. Currently, prices are up 20% over three weeks ago, and they can be expected to climb even more. The disappointing tilapia season has many Chinese farmers thinking of making a change next year. Catfish farmers in China have made record profits over the last two years, a result of growing demand domestically in China and high prices. High profits are attractive, and tilapia producers are preparing to switch to catfish next year. Not surprisingly, it already, it's already expected this will drive down catfish prices. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.